Phil, Kirk from Crowbar says he saw a ghost in your old house. Confirm or deny? It's the truth. I hate to say it, but in <laughs> as much as I just <laughs> want to debunk the entire ghost thing, there was a time when I first moved back to New Orleans. I moved into a house <clears throat> that uh, I knew of two people that had died actually under the roof and a person that had died whilst living there. And everybody almost, it seemed like, that came into the house said that they felt something. This house is haunted. This house is, there's something going on in this house. And I, besides a giant cloud of hippie lettuce. <laughs> I'm trying, you know, you can't, you know, I, I, don't, I don't... Hippie lettuce. No, but I mean, I really, uh, there were all all of the bumps and this and that uh, well, what, associated Did you see anything? Did you see like a flip? There was one day. Ah. I was cleaning up after a party uh, during the Mardi Gras season. So I'm in the kitchen, <laughs> cleaning one. up, and I didn't hear anything. I well, I did have the vacuum running, and that was the only thing. I was like, maybe I didn't hear somebody come in because I had the vacuum on. Because I finished vacuuming, and I just had grabbed the mop handle, and out of my peripheral vision, I was so positive that. Someone had come through the door that I was in mid turn towards the person, and I was about to raise my hand to wave at them, and it wasn't there by the time I looked. But it was there enough for me to go, All right, wait a minute. And to my recollection, the reason why I mentioned the dead people beforehand <laughs> was that it looked like this guy that I'd known when I was a, a child well. who had lived under the roof <laughs> and had died of uh, other medical uh, complications. complications. <laughs> in the hospital. So my mother was like, he didn't die under the roof, you know. I, I doubt it was his ghost, this, that, the other. I'm like, Mom, I'm pretty sure it was his ghost that, that I saw. And, uh, you know, I was much younger and stupider. And, but either way, this is the part about it. <laughs> He had painted a beautiful mural in my bathroom when he lived there back in the 50s of the French Quarter. And at the time, I was about to leave for tour and I was going to have the bathroom extended and made bigger, but I didn't want the painting disturbed. So this is all happening after I had had my little experience of seeing who I thought I saw. Anyway, I'm on tour and I get a frantic uh, call from home. This is before cell phones and all this shit. So I actually had to get on a regular, uh, I guess it was a hotel phone at the time. <laughs> Sorry, you know, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> and my stepfather said he had just broken the wall out, and in between the wall, he saw an old band aid can, and he picked it up, and he shook it, and there was something inside of it. <laughs> and he opened it, and sure enough, it was a picture of the person that I thought I saw 
from about 12th, uh, between 12th and 10th grade. And come to find out later on, he was very much into voodoo and witchcraft and the supernatural. And there is a right where if you want to remain and you want to haunt your familiars, uh, familiar surroundings, there is a, a right that you perform and there's a, you put something personal inside of somewhere. It was in the wall, so obviously it was a purposeful deed that he put his picture inside the wall and therefore I did uh, perhaps see him. That's debatable and that's my long, boring ghost story. <laughs> Have you ever encountered a ghost? I believe I have, and it was at the same house. I'm talking about Phil's house. Um, what happened was, what happened was, um, okay, see where I'm sitting now. Imagine a, a wall like this, but the front door would be right outside here. So we're just listening to music, and I swear I hear straight up, and Phil's like, dude, you, you want to get the door? And I said, I said, sure. So I go open the door, and there's literally there's nobody there. And I'm looking around outside, and there's nobody there. Well, I went back and sat in the chair. And when I did, I happened to glance over my right shoulder. There was an, a doorway right there, an opening. And I saw somebody walk down the hall real quick. And uh, it's weird because back then, we, we would always crash out at Phil's house. Like It's almost like he didn't want to even be there alone or something. It was, it was crazy, but yeah, we, we kind of thought that house was a little, it was an older house. We kind of thought it was a little haunted, maybe. If yeah, there's, there's been a few other things, too, there, so. If I ever saw that, I'd probably just leave and go home. <laughs> I, I, I might have wanted to leave and go home, but I didn't want them to make fun of me. But, um, so I just drank more beer and I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, I'm sorry, man, your house is haunted. I'm never coming here ever again. Yeah, but if you know, like, uh, I'm not, I'm not afraid of no ghost. You know? <laughs> I'm not. I mean, it's scary to think about it if it's real, but they, I don't think, if they're real, I don't think they can really hurt you, you know, I, at least to me, you know. <laughs>